Hello first and students and their parents. Welcome to Savita Ford Academy. This is one and only online learning platform where we provide your Maharashtra State Bureau school textbook video for English medium standard one. My dear little friend, today we learn Shams Horse Cart lesson. All question answers how to write. Okay, so please listen this one video till end. It's a very very important video for your second semester English question paper. For your second semester English paper. Okay, then let's start. Please take out your English textbook and notebook also. Friends, please open page number 35. See. This one our 6 unit 2nd chapter Shams Horse Cart question answer question number 1st from a English textbook. See. Example. First one see. Listen, tell and write. Okay. Example. One example our textbook given. One bird. Many birds. It's a grammar type question. Okay. And my dear little friends. For your easy English question paper my trick is my idea is first we read all question answers then in shortly we learn again Shams horse card lesson then all of you ready see our first number question listen tell and write see one example textbook given one bird many birds first one one dog see same as a one bird one many and bird here is s is extra okay one bird opposite many birds same as okay it's a grammar question okay see how we write then one dog many dogs it's a one concept one and many okay one means only one fruit one thing anything one thing one fruit one box one notebook one textbook and many fruits many apples many notebooks many pens one flower many flowers same as okay then see how we write then one dog then we write here many m a n y many dogs d o g s dogs okay then next one one horse h o r s e horse how we write many m a n y many horse S E S okay one feather many feathers M A N Y many feathers F E A T H E R S many feathers many 
वन थिंग टी एच आई एन जी हाउ वी राइट हियर एम ए एन वाई मेनी थिंग्स टी एच आई एन जी एस मेनी थिंग्स एंड नाइन्थ वन वन फ्रॉग एफ आर ओ जी फ्रॉग हाउ वी राइट आंसर एम ए एन वाई मेनी फ्रॉग्स एफ आर ओ जी एस फ्रॉग्स ओके देन वन पिकॉक एक्चुअली इट्स अ वन टू थ्री फोर फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट इन अ स्लीपिंग लाइन एंड वी सॉल्व इन अ स्टैंडिंग लाइन इट्स ओके ओके देन नेक्स्ट सी वन पी ई ए सी ओ सी के पी कॉक देन एम एम ए एन वाई मेनी पी कॉक्स पी ई ए C O C K peacocks and S peacocks. Okay. Then fourth one, one field. Many M A N Y many fields. F I E L D S many fields. then next one river r i v e r river many m a n y many rivers r i v e r s many rivers then next one banana how we write many m a n y many banana b a n a n a bananas okay many bananas then tenth one one room then who tell me how you write very good many m a n y many rooms r double o m s many rooms yes again in shortly i tell you one dog many dogs one horse many horses one feather many feathers one thing many things one frog many frogs okay one peacock many peacocks one field many fields one river many rivers one banana many bananas one room many rooms okay all of you understood very good friends then open page number 56 our next question look and say okay all of you look here and say with me h o r s e horse c a r t cart horse cart again horse cart next p e a c o c k peacock p e a c o c k peacock then next f i e l d s fields again f i e l d s fields next f a i r fair please repeat f a i r fair then next c o m e come c o m e come n e a r near n e a r near f r o g frog 
A G A I N again. A G A I N again. P A N T I N G painting. Again, please repeat all of you. P A N T I N G painting. Q U I E T quiet. How we pronounce? Q U I E T quiet. H A W P I L Y happily. All of you are familiar this word? Very good. H A W P I L Y happily. S P R A N G sprang. Please again repeat. S P R A N G sprang. Then our next. Question fourth one. Write who went to the fair with Sham. Again we read please. Write who went to the fair with Sham. Then open before page. Who went to fair with Sham? Okay, so we in shortly again revise this one lesson. Okay, first we read all questions. Fifth one also. See, why did the horse run helter and skelter? Okay, for this both fourth and fifth lesson, we again shortly explain lesson okay see first one right who went to the fair with sham then come open page number 54 see sham started in his horse cart to go to the fair on the way madhu and mira said can we come okay madhu and mira also on to Go to fair. Means who want to go to fair? Who want? Yes, my dear little friends. Our question is who went to the fair with Sham? Okay. And who? Madhu and Meera. Okay. See how they politely taken permission. Okay. Then again see. This one dog also want to go to fair. See the dog saw them. He asked can I come OS says Sham. Means dog underline here. Okay. Again again if you forgot our questions fourth one right who went to the fair with a sham you can go back side and read again this one fourth number question right who went to the fair with a sham okay see first one madhu meera the dog okay the dog and who is next see this one peacock in shortly i tell you one day sham started his horse cart where to go fair meanwhile when you going, Madhu and Meera, girls want to go to fair. See, Madhu and Meera. And this one dog also want to go to fair. While going from fields, Shams horse cart, 
this one peacock also taken permission this one peacock also want to go to fair means see peacock p e a c o c k peacock okay then who is next see they saw the fair from a distance who is next when they were crossing the river the frog ask can i come to the fair means this one frog the frog okay want to go to fair with the sham okay all of you see her how you write this one fourth one question answer what is question fourth one write w r i t e write who went went to the fair f a i r fair with sham w i t h with sham s h y a m sham okay and your answer is a n s how you find your answer c first how we started <coughs> open your page number 54 okay madhu see here keep your finger here okay and c and write okay m capital m because girl's name always starting capital okay m is capital m a d h m a d h u madhu c madhu and meera but don't write here and only comma okay meera m capital m double e r a meera then again comma okay then who is the dog okay this one dog also want to go to fair with sham yes all of you remember this one story very good then write here the t h e the dog d o g dog okay then again comma don't write here capital t okay the dog this type you write the dog again comma then who is the peacock see the peacock then write the peacock p p e a c o c k peacock okay the peacock and who is last one the frog this one last one okay person so write here and a n d and okay and the frog f r o g frog okay and then complete our answer take a question answer question part c madhu meera the dog the peacock and the frog then you joint this one part ahead went to the fair with 
sham same as okay frog okay went w e n t went to the fair see here keep your finger here and write down f a i r fair with w i t at with sham s capital s h y a m and don't forgot full stop means first standard students can easily found their answers from a lesson okay see again we repeat this one answer madhu meera the dog the peacock and the frog went to the fair with sham okay then see next question yes my dear lady friends our fifth number question why did the horse run helter skelter okay then how we write answer first we write our question okay question number question number write q capital q this type question number 5 okay then why keep your finger here and write down okay w h y always my dear lady friends always each and every sentence starting capital letters okay so we start here capital w why did why did the then see here keep your finger here that type and write in your english notebook okay my dear little friends did the t h e t h e the horse h o r s e horse okay horse run r u n run okay r u n run okay here is a small space so leave that okay run helter h e l t e r helter and skelter how is here word writing textbook given us same right here okay helter skelter s k e l t e r and give here question answer okay then answer c a n s and colon okay then how we write the c how we write if question starting y then how we start answer okay c take this one part live why did okay and take this one but the horse run helter skelter that all see the t h e the horse h o r s e horse run r u n run helter h e l t e r helter and skelter s k e l t e r skelter and write here because word b e a c a u s e because this one word joining word okay because the horse see the horse run helter skelter same we write here the horse run helter skelter because okay because then open our lesson 
say where is helter skelter word here is okay then read this one sentence again the horse was so frightened that he run helter skelter yes you got it the horse run helter skelter because he means this one horse he h e he he frightened see here keep your finger here read three letters at a time f r i and write here then he see f r i then g h t g h t e n e d e n e d our frightened word ready okay the horse run helter skelter because he frightened he frightened understood and our answer is ready full stop here okay again we repeat the horse run helter skelter because he frightened or you can write long long answer also the horse run helter skelter because see the frog fell on the horse and then horse frightened so much so he run helter and skelter but all of you are in a only standard one so write that type only he frightened the horse frightened or you can write the horse frightened so he run helter and skelter that type also okay my dear little friends friends then next one question sixth one okay classify the following animals as domestic animals and wild animals all of you can see here one chart is here okay and textbook saying sort out domestic animal and wild animal they given here for examples in a bracket okay then come let's start tell me dog fair live dog first one tell me domestic animals means which is a pet pet animals okay see so uh, same as a cat live with us okay dog also live with us they all are domestic animals okay cow also live with us but outside and cat live with us inside okay but pet and domestic animals are both same cow live with us but outside and cat also live with us but inside okay and wild animals means which animals live in forest okay they are dangerous they are harmful for us they called wild animals okay then see tell me then dog do you dog dog live with us or in a forest very good dog live with us so right here in domestic animals column okay this one dog see here and uh, this spelling and right here okay d 
O G dog. Okay. Then next horse. H O R A S E horse. Where we write this one horse. Horse also domestic animals. Okay. Horse also live with us. We use horse for a business. Okay. For a loading. So write here. But he horse live where outside the house. H O R S E right here. Keep your finger that type. Then read H O R. Then write down H O R and S E horse. Okay, that type. Next lion. Lion can live with us. No, it's so dangerous. Okay, so lion write in a wild animals column. L I O N lion. Okay, then next elephant. Elephant live with us. No, so elephant. Where we write wild animals. Elephant, wild animals. Okay, then write here. E L always keep your finger which word you want to write that type then you all of you are first students okay so please keep your finger under the words which word you want to write then you can easily and fast write down your answers e l E P H A N T elephant. Okay. Then next cow. C O W cow. Cow give, gives us milk. Cow live with us, but outside. Okay. Not in our house. Cow's house is separate. So right here, domestic animal is cow. So <coughs> write in a domestic animals column. Okay, cow. C O W cow. Okay. Then next frog. Frog can live with us. It's a pet animal. No. Frog. We write here. In wild animal F F first read spelling and then write down F R O G that type okay the next peacock peacock where we write peacock where we can see peacock we not Keep peacock okay in our house or outside okay peacock we always in a forest okay so right here in a wild animals column P E A C O C K peacock okay peacock okay then last one cat C A T cat. Cat. Okay. Then again we repeat. Domestic animals. Dog, horse, cow, cat. And wild animals. Lion, elephant, frog and peacock. Okay. Then. Next one, seventh one, write the names of any five vehicles. Write the names of any five vehicles. Anyone can tell me vehicle's name? Who can tell me? See, we write here. I show you how you write answer. A. 
N S answer. Okay. Truck vehicles. T R U C K. Truck. Okay. School bus. You can write school bus also. S C H Double O L school bus, school bus, train, T R A I N train. Okay, and next one, you can write only bus also. Okay, B U S bus. Okay, C A R car. Okay, taxi, T A X I taxi, bike, B I K E bike. Okay, all are vehicles name. Okay, truck, school bus, train, bus. car taxi bike okay then see our next question write the names of things you see in the fair then tell me which things you can see in the fair yes you who can tell me Eight number question. Okay, we write here. Okay, we first read this one again. Question: Write the names of things you see in the fair. Okay, which things? Toys, T, T, O, Y, E, S, toys, giant wheel, J, G, A, I, N, T, giant wheel. W H double E L fill, okay, comma. Then we write. Uh, we can see food stalls also. S T A double L S stalls. Okay, which stall? We can see uh, another. Game stalls also, G A M E S games stalls, S T A W L S stalls, and jewelry or uh, ornament stall also. Okay, J E J W E Double L E R Y jewelry or you can write ornaments. A R N A M E N T ornaments shop S H O P S okay and. Candy floors also you can see C A N D Y candy F L O double S candy floors okay and soap balloon also S O U P soap bubbles yes B U double B L 
e double s that all things we can see in the fair okay then next one question last one ninth one unscramble the words it's a jumble words okay then how we write first one r o h s e r a c t means which word r o h s e r a c t make a word yes horse h c h o r s e horse c a r t horse cart okay c a r t horse cart yes from this jumble word we make a horse cart okay d a e o k double c means which word p e a c o c and k which word we make we got p e a c o c k peacock okay then i e l f d then make a word fast fast who can make fast this one a jumbled word yes f i e l d field okay then next y t o yes t t o y o y okay then next jumble word last one i r a f okay then r a i f no yes f f a i r fair we got a meaningful word fair okay i hope you enjoy this fun lecture and please keep watching savita phode academy for this type videos bye bye take care yourself and your parents